Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make this sort of like ribbon effect in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump right into it, this is a cool one. Go ahead and grab your line segment tool and just create a straight line. It can be however long you want it to be. Let's add a stroke to it so that we can see it. Right, there's our line. We now want to go to Effect, Distort and Transform, Zigzag. So we want to make a zigzag line. I want the points to be smooth. You can go with cornered points, it's fine. Now you can choose whichever settings you prefer. I'll go with Size Relative. And I'll add some ridges. I'm gonna go with six probably, oops six and press OK. What you want to do next is go to Effect, 3D, Extrude and Bevel. Now I want to add more extrusion depth and this is how thick your ribbon is going to be. So I want mine to be kind of this length, right? Um, I'm going to give it no shading and press OK. Then go to Object, Expand Appearance, Object, Expand. Then go to Then click here to grab your Shape Builder tool. And you got to fix your shape now because it's not looking that bad, but we need to fix these shapes a little bit. So this has to be, you just click and drag to create shapes. So this has to be one shape. This is another one. So just click on it. This shape needs to go up to here. This is another one. And so on and so forth. This is a shape on its own. Cause it's coming from the other side and this is the back side. And there you go. Shape is fixed. Now you want to ungroup everything. You gotta do this a couple times till it's not highlighted anymore. Anyways, you can now singularly change the colors of them. So I'm gonna add gradients to every single shape. So I'm gonna select everything, click here to add a gradient. And I'm gonna choose my colors. I'm gonna go with a light blue to white. Right, and now I'm gonna go in. I want the shadow to be right here, so this works fine, but this one isn't quite right. So I'm gonna select the shape, press G on my keyboard, and I'm gonna fix, click and drag to fix the shape. All right, my shadow needs to go this way. So I'll do that for all of these shapes that I don't like. So here's our cute little ribbon. We can add a drop shadow if we want. I'm just gonna regroup everything together. I'm gonna go to Effect, Stylize, Drop Shadow. Now you can choose the offset is basically the distance of your shadow. And you can move it both horizontally and vertically. You can adjust the blur and the opacity of your shadow. You can select also the blending mode and that's basically it. It's a really cool effect. You can also do it by drawing your path uh, the path you want your ribbon to have with your brush tool or with your pen tool. It doesn't have to be done um, necessarily with the line segment tool. I feel like this is just a more symmetrical way of doing it and it's easier to understand. But you could also make a path with your brush tool and then go ahead and go to do the, this whole process again. So the 3D extrude and bevel and etc. Anyways. I hope you loved this tutorial and I'll see you guys tomorrow.
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, also comment what you'd like to see next. Follow me on Instagram, on TikTok, where I post shorter versions of these same tutorials. Be sure to check my website out where I have some prints available and these really cool hats and some other clothing items. I'll see you tomorrow.